Hello guys, this is Ansab and you are watching Nerdy Ansab YouTube channel. So this is our second video on XAMPP Web Server course on Windows. So in this video we will see how you can change your local host to a domain name. So in this video we will see how you can get a free domain and configure with your XAMPP Web Server. <laughs> So for this open your internet browser and type freenorm.org here we will register a free domain so here enter a name, domain name which you want and check if it is available or not and here you can see that domain nearly and sub is dot tk is available and here you can click on get it now it is free and these are paid so you can select it and click on check out and here you can select the time period so according to your requirements you can select it and then continue and here on this page you need to write your email address or you can use social sign in also so if you are already registered so you can use click here to login as I am already registered or you need to create another account use social sign in also so I am hiding this my email and password from here So now you can see I have signed in using Gmail. Okay. Now you can complete your order. Just enter these details and after this click on complete order and also click on I have read and agree to terms and condition. So your order number is this and you will get confirmation email shortly. So from here you can go to your client idea and after this services my domains and manage domain. Manage free norm DNS. So here just enter www ttl to change to 300 it is, it is time to live so it will take 300 seconds <coughs> so it means 5 minutes so target 127.0.0.1 so our 127.0.0.1 is for localhost so we are reserving it for localhost here we can enter dot 2 and add more records so leave it blank and here change it to 300 minimum is 300 if you enter less than 300 then it will give you error so
so after this just click save changes ok it should take some time so record edit successfully so yeah and so we have got our free domain so now we have to configure this domain with XAMPP web server so just go to the installation path of XAMPP go to this Apache server folder and CONF extra and here you can create new folder with name website okay so basically usually we add our code after this text but uh, we are not messing with this text now so we are just adding our file into this website folder and we are linking uh, our this uh, folder from this file so open and create a new folder text document just create text document and have a mm, open with okay you can use any text editor I am using notepad plus plus it is good and after this you need some code so you need this code so I will be adding this code in description of this video so you can take this code from there if you don't want to type it it's just a small code some same line of code something like this open your file and paste it here and here you can see your virtual host IP is what we have add here just enter this IP here and after this semicolon and add port number so our Apache web server usually runs on port 80 by default if you haven't changed it and server admin change it to something like admin at local host or if you have email account on your website you can change it to this that also and document root uh, this is uh, the file where you have all the files of your website like your home page and your another mm, documents of your website so see XAMPP stdocs and Nady and sub ok so uh, Nady and sub what you get Nady and sub tk and server name so this is your website name so nerdy Nady and sub dot tk and error logs so this is optional but it is good practice to make error logs so if you face any error you can see what errors you are getting so you can make this file here logs slash so write ERT y median sub ml error logs and here write Y real sub ML sorry TK TK error logs and just save this file and now you have to do something here which is you need to change the extension of this file so open this file with notepad plus plus go to file save as and select from here all types here select 
n e r d y a n s a p m l dot c o n f now don't write txt here after this dot write c o n f this is our c o n f file and just save it okay and now you can delete this file txt file text file okay and open this file http host dot config so edit with notepad plus plus and here you will need this command copy this and at last just write this extra slash you need location of your this file so extra website and nerdy and sub ml dot co and f so write Mm, folder name which was website slash n e r t y a n s a b m l dot c o n f and now you can save it control s save okay And now you need a new uh, just go to first go to your Zem installation path and from there go to htdocs folder and create new folder with name N E R D Y A N S A B M L so be careful while you create these names the, this should match with this file with this file document root nerdy and sub tk so yes i was doing some mistake there Nerdian sub TK. Otherwise, uh, that will not locate your folder and you will not get your website up. And here, new text document <coughs> and write here INDEX index. And it will not bad plus plus and just write hi and save as index dot php or you can write some html code also just write make it in center control plus s and delete this file So now what you need to do is just open your XAMPP control panel and start Apache web server. Just web server will work. And open browser and here you can type nerdy and serve. Radiant sub dot tk and you can see our website hi which is running so this was video on 
adding uh, on getting a new free domain so what we have done in this video is uh, we have created a virtual host so virtual host is like an another server so you can see here uh, this is XAMPP virtual host file so mm, when we add any other uh, domain here so this uh, works and like uh, an another server uh, server separate server from our apache so guys if you like this video uh, so give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and also subscribe my youtube channel and also press the bell icon so bye see you in next video so in next video i will be telling you how you can add virtual host with ssl so like we have add port 80 here so in another video i will be showing how you can get your website running on port 443 which is by default for ssl and you can also install uh, free ssl so stay tuned for my next video